Everybody likes sobolo, especially when it's infused with some flavorful ingredients, served on some ice and enjoyed, especially on sunny days. Happy cooking and a warm aquaba to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Awiswa Angie and I want to say you're most welcome again to my channel. Do make sure to be part of the family by subscribing and also don't forget to turn on your post notification button so that you will be among the first to be notified anytime I upload a video, okay? So today on, on the menu, I am sharing with you my Sobolo, Bisap or Zobo drink. So let's not waste time and move straight into the recipe. Let's go to the kitchen. Hmm. Let's go to the kitchen. Since we are in the kitchen, let me walk you through my ingredients. I have hibiscus leaves, grain of selim or huentia, one aridan fruit, some ginger, cloves, some white sugar, and strawberry extract, which is optional, but add it, okay? And I also have pineapple. I will start by chopping my ginger into a blender. So you realize that I didn't peel off the skin of my ginger and that is because it is very healthy so I decided to just wash it and blend it raw, okay? So after chopping them, I will put it straight into my blender. Add my cloves and set aside whilst I peel off the skin of my pineapple and chop the fruit to blend. Now in chopping off the skin of your pineapple, don't be in a haste to throw it away, okay? Because we're going to boil our sobolo leaves with the skin of the pineapple. This is very healthy and it tastes good as well. So I'll chop my pineapple into my blender, add water and blend. Once it blends, I will set it aside for later use. Now, after that is done, I will give my sobolo leaves a quick rinse to take away any dirt before I prepare. Don't worry about losing the color of your sobolo, okay? Because you still have enough left in your leaves. So I'll go ahead, add some water and my pineapple peels. Add my precase or aridan fruits. Followed by my grain of selim or huentsnya. Cover it and take it to my stove to boil. Once it boils, I will give it a quick stir and set it aside whilst I put water on fire to make my sugar solution. Now, I don't want too much sugar in this particular sobolo, but for the purpose of this presentation, I will use just a little to make my presentation much clearer for you guys, okay? So whilst the sugar solution is still on fire, I will go ahead and strain my sobolo. And guys, when doing this, you have to be very careful because your sobolo is still very hot, alright? So after the first strain, I'll add some more water to my course and break that one too to a boil to enable me extract as much juice as possible. Mm. 
and once it boils, I will strain the juice into the first one. So after it goes in, I will go ahead and strain my sobolo again for about 3 to 5 times, alright? And that is because I want to get a very clear and fine sobolo. And also, my strainer or colander has bigger holes, so 3 to 5 times would just be okay for me. At this point, I will add some extra blended pineapples after which I will add my sugar solution and stir well for everything to mix properly. After the sugar solution goes in, I'll go ahead and add my strawberry extract. Give it one final stir, allow the sobolo to cool and then serve. Now the sobolo is ready and to enjoy it well, Serve on some ice while you relax to enjoy it well, well. This one is well, well, okay? Alright guys, so if you have watched till this point, I want to thank you so much for watching. To my new subscribers, you're most welcome. And to my old subscribers, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for always sticking with me me and to everyone out there supporting me i am much grateful so until you see me in another one stay safe enjoy your cooking and explore with me once again welcome to a gianni perfi macramo